This is All India Radio. Dr. Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan, former President of India, was a scholar and a thinker, addressing the Silver Jubilee function of the Kerala University Thruvandrum on 30th September. He emphasized that the aim of every university should be to help the students to think rightly, to act nobly. Universities are the means by which the traditions of a country intellectual, artistic and ethical, the technical skills, these things are transmitted from one generation to another. These are institutions which make for the progress of any community. We deal here with human beings, not with dead material. It is our ambition to make them full human beings. Education is for the whole man to think, to feel, to do, to be. These are the aims which we should set before ourselves. Without thought, nothing great can be achieved. Even when the gods are supposed to have performed tapas, Parnini tells us, tapa alochane, tapas is reflection, it is discussion, it is reviewing matters. We must think all the progress we have achieved in this world is due to the work of the great thinkers. And so far as this thinking process is concerned, it is not right for us to segregate ourselves. Most of us think that we think. Many of us are afraid to think they would rather be dead than think because it is too dangerous to think or to start innovations. For one man who thinks, a thousand repeat what that man says and they don't think anything at all. But the progress of the world is due to the thought mechanism of the human beings. All the great inventions which we have had in recent times, which have led to the alleviation of misery, the discovery of anesthesia, radiotherapy, nuclear energy, these are all the works done by enterprising individuals whose minds were perpetually at work. To them we owe a great deal. But to think is not enough. We may have the right thought, but we do not have the inclination to put that right thought into practice. We know now that nuclear energy, if used for wrong purposes, would bring about the destruction of humanity. But we are not afraid of the disastrous consequences. The human being is so made that even if he rationally anticipates the consequences of a particular course of action, he does not shrink from it. Something more is necessary. Janami dharmam nachame pravrittihi. Janami adharmam nachame nivrittihi. We know the right, we cannot do it. We know the wrong, we cannot abstain from it. Two thousand years ago, Aristotle made out, ideas are not enough. Ideas may become inert, they may become inactive. They may not enter into the life of a society. You must make the people persuade you must make them love the right and hate the wrong. There it is, this next object of feeling nobly, feeling rightly, feeling for the right thing. That comes. We have to think rightly and feel nobly. If we do the two things together, it will be possible for us to do the right. In other words, inflexible determination great will, these things can be used for translating the ideas into realities. 
the right ideas can be put into practice if we are able to love them, to feel for them, to make all our emotions concentrate on them, make them understand that this is not merely intellectually right, but it is emotionally noble. Thank you. Good evening, respected principal, teachers, and all my dear friends. Today, on this occasion of the Teacher's Day, we are here to, to celebrate a pay of heartly tribute to our very dear teachers who tirelessly works to ensure that they provide the best education to their students as we are the nation's future. Teachers are the pillars of society. They are the building blocks of a nation's future. They empower us to be about the best ourselves and survive the country. Without teacher, there is no lawyer, no doctor, no ISR officer, no researcher, and no astronaut. This is the day to celebrate the birth anniversary of Sarvepalli Radhakrishna, the second president of India, who himself was a teacher, philosopher, and educationist. As we all know that it is the impossible to define teacher, as teachers are not only limited to teaching our guiding students in academic, but also helping students to take the right path. They develop our overall characters. Finally, I would love to extend my heartiest congratulations and gratitude to make teacher on the behalf of all the students for always being a guiding light and a ray of hope in our lives. We could have never stood where we are today. Thank you teachers for everything. Thank you.